I'm a psychotherapist and I'm super obsessed with everything about mind, body, how it's connected, the science um, and, and psychological games, how this all plays into our body and well-being. So let's look at drama now. How we can avoid drama is we can start to look at it as a real thing. This is a model called the drama triangle. It's real. Script writers use it. Reality TV shows like Love Island, um, and we love it because there's a shift, isn't there? There's a feel to the drama. When it's in our relationships, it's not as great. When it's at work, it's not as great because we maybe react not in the best way. And these are psychological games. It's probably the most common psychological game. And remember, we all do play games to get what we want, but some people take it a bit Here far. we go, I've drawn the drama triangle. So there are positions on this triangle. So these are the positions. Think about which one you are. Are you a rescuer? Are you a victim? Or when people play victim? Or are you a persecutor? Okay, so we can, you know, we can, if somebody falls over, we can go and help them and that's fine and that's good. The difference with drama is we switch positions. Like I think um, Dua Lipa says, switching positions, or maybe it's Taylor Swift, um, that we switch positions and there's that feel, there's the drama, and we may move from the rescuer to helping someone to the persecutor where we might be, oh, silly cow, or do want to do this, or she's always doing this. Um, and the victim will also move positions. So the person who is victim, whether this is a friend, a work colleague, family members, difficult with family members, the person who plays victim, where do they shift to if, when you move? And it's that feeling that isn't great. Um, the way we can start to take some control here is to begin to notice and to step away. So I'd like you just to think about in your relationships, which role do you get pulled into? Are you a rescuer? The good guys tend to be the rescuers, to be fair. Um, victim or persecutor? Or who in your family, friendship group, where are they going? Are they the victim all the time? Are you being pulled in? Is there always this drama? Okay, so here's the good bit. We can fix it. We can stop it happening. But there needs to be some change and that change is actually only going to happen from you. And it's about stepping away. How can you step away in awareness, know what's going on and step away? So the good news is there's something called the winner's triangle. Let me draw you a picture. Winner's triangle is useful for us to understand how we can step away. You know, what, what we see, how we slow things down. Because with drama it's quick and it's going gonna, it's gonna to get us. And it's not good. It never ends well. It never ends well. And also with drama, just so you know, it can be with another person. It can be a whole organisation. It can be a group. Groups are nightmares for drama. When people take different roles and when those switches happen. So this department might turn on this department. It's rife. So it's about noticing it. So let's look how we step away. And also trying to stay an adult as well. Yeah, being professional. So the winner's triangle, it exists, great. So rather than being a rescuer, right, it's also okay for you to be nurturing and helpful. I'm not saying to just like leave it, yeah? But we gotta slow things down a bit here. So really, it's okay for you to give help when asked, only if it's okay for you and it doesn't take away any energy from you or from your priorities. You can be caring and understanding, but don't let it drain you. Some people are like radiators and give us energy. Others will take and take and take. Notice that. Keep your own boundary in place, looking after yourself. This is the hard bit. You are now, by stepping away, you do not need to be needed. This is often difficult for people at the time of being in that role of a rescuer the helper, the carer, the one that always makes the tea, the one that's always there, that goes running to the hospital. You're not going to be needed anymore. So what's that going to be like? Um, and the most important thing is, I need you to think about this, that actually accept that that other person who is playing victim, they are an adult and are able to look after themselves. They are an adult and are able to look after themselves. If it's a child, if it's someone with no agency, that's different. If it's an adult, they are able to look after themselves. It's not just on you. Okay, so taking the heat out of it, slowing things down, not responding straight away, really slowing it down. Because of the drama, it'll want to happen quick. 
okay? Now, rather than being victim, if you think of the victim person, right? It is okay for that person to say, or for you to say, well, I feel vulnerable. And actually to share your feelings around that. And you might say, I'm unable to do this. You can be vulnerable without being the victim, without pulling other people in. Okay, so then rather than the persecutor, the one that's going to kick in and go, oh, the silly cow, or she shouldn't be doing this, or I'm not doing that again, okay? Be assertive and honest, yeah? Know how it makes you feel. Know what is serving you and what isn't, and the reason why you are going to act or not going to act. Have no judgment. It's hard to have no judgment. Step away, have no judgment. Have no fight with that person. Step away, have no fight. You can say, I'm unable to get involved because this situation makes me angry. I'm unable to get involved. This doesn't serve me. Um, have no fight with that person. Being away, just notice what happens when you step away. It's hard. Like I say, you're going to be losing a role if you've always been the rescuer or if you've always been the one that comes muscling in and sorts it all out. Step away. It's going to be calmer. It might even be a bit boring, but the drama is going to reduce. Step away, slow things down, have this in awareness. I hope this has been useful so you can understand now how you're able to step away from drama, but also just begin noticing it, seeing it. The person in victim, actually, they're an adult, they're able to look after themselves. I don't have to rush in and fix this. They might be expecting you to, I need you to hold your boundary. Step back, slow things down, be honest of the impact that these people are having on you or the organisation or whatever it is. Step away, slow things down, keep safe. Okay, I hope that was useful and I'll see you next time.